A massive thanks goes out to Be Quiet, Corsair, Eco Waterblocks, Inwin, and Sapphire for sponsoring our coverage at Computex 2019. Right, we're now here at Alpha Cool's booth over at uh, Nangang, and I'm here with Dave Alcock, who's hopefully going to be explaining some of the new stuff that they've got on show, as well as uh, the uh, stuff which was maybe announced at CES and is now making it to market, plus some of the mods later on. So Dave, what's new? What's, what do we need to see? Well, the, I think the biggest thing we've got here this time is obviously our new CPU blocks. And um, we've got three different styles, three different types. Um, but overall, they thought, you know, they're just a lot better than our previous versions, just aesthetic, like straight yeah. away with the aesthetics. We've reduced the size of the logo and we've just put our Alpha Cool like tiny logo on the bottom corner now. So you haven't got the huge logo that we had before. It's full addressable RGB and you've now got for TR4 as well, which we've got a dedicated block for, which we didn't previously nice. have. Yeah. Um, with the whole range, you can now control the lighting, like say, with the addressable lighting. So you've got a lot more options. You don't have to have the RGB ring that you previously had. It all comes built in. So that's you know it's something it's a step in the right direction to making the customers happy. People have been asking us for a TR4 block. We made one. People have been asking us to do a bit more premium looking blocks and we made them. So we're getting there with them. Yeah, very nice. Can we take a closer look look at one of these, pick one up maybe or something? Yeah. Are, they, are they hopefully not wide in too, too hard? So these are all motherboard controllable as well, or yeah, you have yeah. to use so, a controller? They, so they'll be able to be used with a motherboard and a controller. So it depends on how you want to connect them. Um, there's more on that coming in the future, but yeah, so there's, they're going to be able to be controlled by a motherboard, yeah. Yeah, and these are what, these are solid acrylic? Are they? Yeah, yeah so there's uh, acrylic tops with a nylon bottom, so that uh, when they're mounted, that the acrylic doesn't crack. Yeah. So the nylon's a lot stronger. Uh, okay, so yeah, so I can see the nylons. So that's going to be for like the um, uh, jet plate type stuff. Yeah, so we have a, yeah, so we well, have a special it? ramp inside, you know, like a jet, similar to a jet plate, yeah. and it forces the water into the certain channels and helps to cool it. So these are for the these are for like the consumer sockets, and then you've got yes. the dedicated HEDT ones. Do you have any of those on on show, uh, or are they? We've got some inside the service systems that we'll look at later. Yeah. But, okay. So we'll have a look at that later then. I yeah. guess. And of course, we've got to have a closer look at this. Oh this yeah, thing, the ice we? ball. So there. Careful the wire on this. The ice ball is a pump reservoir combo and this thing's just cool it's just yeah. it's stupid and it's one of them things why not like yeah. just that's a good, that's a good load not? of fun isn't it yeah we we uh, the design guys decided to that they wanted to make a spherical reservoir yeah they thought it to be a challenge it was a challenge it took a longer time to make this how it's so it's workable and it's uh, now done so this one will, so this one will fit um, a d5 any any generic one or does it have to be something like the alpha cool no uh, no it's will fit the ones. vpp uh, range they'll fit the d5 range and they'll fit other brands of d5 style pumps as well so it fits everything really very nice it's got like a ufo type thing oh yeah i just like like it as well because you've got the fan mounts so you can have it yeah either way i think the i think people are going to do some strange things with these i think that's the going to be the resounding feature in this there's not going to be no normal builds with these inside yeah, i think it's just going to exactly. be silly it's going to be great now there been any changes to the um sort of i guess we've got all-in-ones radiators and, and things yeah like that. Are, these, are these all the same as before or are there going to be any kind of difference to them? no we have actually updated all of the uh ice bear series and the ice wolf series again we've added addressable rgbs um and it's just more of like a a feature update rather than any to any type of performance upgrade. And are these uh, quick? Is that a quick disconnect? Yeah. So these are the new, we've changed the quick disconnects and made them a lot more sleek. Um, before they used to have the red and blue rings around them. I'm sure you can remember, and they, they worked very well, but didn't look very pretty. Yeah. We've changed the tubing so that we've got the nice matte black tubing now. Again, mm, nice. it's just an aesthetics thing, really. So that's looking rather pretty now. Yeah. Well, why don't we go have a look at some of the server-oriented stuff? Because I know a lot of guys are quite interested in not just for doing it uh, HEDT and the kind of industrial work, but they quite like them maybe for um, smaller chassis, things like the silver stones that you can also do for media centers where the bigger radiators and things like this just simply don't fit. So why don't we have a look at those now? Yeah, sure. 
So Dave, obviously these are more industrial oriented. Yes, they are, yeah. But uh, can I just throw some of the things that have changed? Because these are going to be obviously for like the larger TR4E type epic sockets and for uh, the yeah. Xeons and things. Right? Yeah, exactly. So this is all our server grade or enterprise solution stuff. Um, we've done one U and two U. And basically these are just like a, kind of like a drop in solution for server, server users. One of the things is the, that's really nice is the one U water block. It's got multiple ports in and out and that just allows you to go wherever you want with the tubing. Uh, obviously in a server you don't always have the luxury of being able to go up because it's only one new size. So you can go in and out the sides now as well. We've got radiators from one radiator, uh, one fan to seven fans for 40 mil. And then we've got the same for 80 mil as well. So you've got some really, really tiny radiators to really chunky radiators yeah. as well. We've done pump and reservoir solutions. And these are only prototypes at the moment, but they are coming out very soon. And these, again, fit a 1U server rack, and or you can do a yeah. 2U as well. Yeah, so these ones are very low profile. These are these are dual dual pump, right? So, yeah, so and that's got, for redundancy. In yeah, so the, well, each one's got a single pump each side uh, at the moment, but I think that's changing um, since the last time I saw them. And also, it's got like a little reservoir as well. And the thing with them is that they're a lot smaller than pretty much any other pump on the market mm. for servers at the moment. So you can put two, three, or even four in and just have full redundancy over a whole rack. Now, is any of this stuff going to be available sort of for consumers as well, or is it only going to be for like larger industrial customers? No, no, we'll release everything so that you can purchase it separately. Uh, the radiators are already on, on the market now and they're doing very well for ITX cases and users that are doing strange things. So like a guy was making an Xbox and put radiators in the Xbox and bought yeah. that and things like that. You know, the, it's it's interesting and it's, it's weird how it crosses over from enterprise solutions to end user yeah. solution. And yeah, everything's going to be better. Yeah, and no, I really like how um, these sort of the flatter water blocks and things can definitely be used for small form factor builds. Yeah. Just because you've got the ports on the sides, they're not straight up the top only on there. Yeah. So you got a lot of different options on that. It's yeah, there's definitely a lot of cases that can utilize this small gear. And especially now motherboards are getting more and more powerful, processors are getting more and more powerful, the heat needs to go somewhere and yeah. a solution like this does the job. Exactly. Now, speaking of sort of modding your own guys, you've got quite a few mods on show over here. Certainly have. Why don't you guide us through and we'll take a look, see uh, see what they're like and uh, who's made them. Yep. So in terms of the mods, uh, I guess starting here, we've got this one, which is an Apex Pathfinder theme yeah. build from uh, Brothers Mod, right? Yep. That's right, yeah. So I can see he's used lots of the um, alphacore parts just to like add to the chassis. And we've got, um, so are these, are these actually full of coolant, these ones, or are they just painted on the top? No, I these, I believe all these are just uh, there for aesthetic reasons yeah. more than anything, but it just gives you that little bit extra that, you know, like Apex has got um, with Pathfinder. Yeah. And I think that's all that, all that's for. Yeah, I can Inside. see there's a lot of, lot of kind of like machining and um, uh, laser cut work all over, isn't there? Yeah, oh like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's a lot of detailed. fabrication done. It's a lot more, uh, add stuff to it rather than going minimalistic or anything like that. Yeah. But it looks really nice. So, yeah, and it, fit, it definitely fits the theme of the game. I, so oh, I yeah. used to play quite a bit of Apex. So yeah, so. for sure. It's a really interesting mod. I like the tubing that he's done as well. He's actually modified the internal tubing, which isn't something that we actually sell, but mm. I do like that a lot. It's, it's It might be on my list of things to yeah, that's to really tell cool. My so he's gone like a, he's gone with like a sleeve to make it look like sort of, I guess, a hydraulic type tubing yeah. sort of wiring loom. Isn't yeah, it? So, yeah, it looks really yeah, nice. Cool. I'm quite interested in that myself. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's supposed to be orange in the actual, uh, <laughs> in the actual thing. Good old uh, RGB software. Yeah, of course. The base <laughs> is of what our it is. Life. I know. Mine's done the same. <laughs> and then I see we've got some. Nice small ones over here. Yeah. Uh, some familiar names as well. Mark yeah, Salika so from uh, Mark's, Mark's Fabrication. Yeah, so yeah, he's, he's done, done some, a fantastic some, some of his uh, classic carbon fiber work. Yeah, uh, carbon fiber work inside the Ryzen Threadripper box. I mean, that's, um, that's impressive. It's tiny. How do you manage to fit uh, everything in that? That's it's magic. It's the, that's, that's Mark's Fabrication magic. Yeah. <laughs> it just it gets it done. Do, does the lovely carbon fiber. Yeah. And actually the whole PC does run as well. Mm. We haven't got any monitors to show it running, but yeah, we, we were we were told that if we want to use it, we can use it. 
Wow, yeah, no, that's really, really cool. And also, we've also got some things from uh, Performance PC, so I imagine that's probably Matt and Garrett. Yeah, Garrett yeah, the guys at Performance. Um, so everybody's done like the wooden look as well, which I really, yeah, really I nice. actually really like the wood and the white. The, yeah. the way that matches, is, it, it does work. I it's would, nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, got I, a, it's got a sort of a simple, um, a sort of a warmth to it. You know, yeah. Like the wood's got a nice tactile feel to it, like yeah, the, it's the texture has, and all that. It's, it's one of them things you don't think is going to work until you do it. And I personally had never tried build with wood. It's mm. not something I'd ever do, but it just works. Fair play to them. They've, yeah. uh, they've seen it work and it's done well. Same with the one from Zydax. It's a, just a really nice um, toned down PC, but it, it works. Yeah. And obviously it seems that you've got a lot of, uh, there seems to be a lot of emphasis on uh, small form factor. On yeah, this yeah. That's so, quite interesting. Yeah, we Because a lot of the other booths are like big, big, big. And here it's like, dialing it down i really like that yeah well we work a lot with um, case manufacturers that do small form um cases and personally i like small form more yeah um, i think if you have a case why waste space hmm. um just make it as small as possible especially with water cooling you don't need 30 fans you don't need you know all that space you can do everything on 360 um millworth radiators and easily cool the processor and a graphics card so yeah, just make it compact to put it in a case, get everything look pretty. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Dave, no, for thank you. guiding us through all the products. And uh, that's us finished up at Alpha Cool at Computex 2019.